Um, so we're building, we've got two studios at the moment. We want to build a third, uh, only because we signed more and more artists. I think it's a good and a bad idea, only because yes, we have two studios for, I guess, seven artists, but artists are on all in at the same time. So they're never really fully utilized. And the front space at the moment is sort of like a chill area where everyone, everyone tends to sit and relax and sort of have fun, which I think is very important to the creative process. But on the other side of the coin, having a third studio might make everything more efficient and give people their own space. Um, I guess the thing I'm worried about is three studios in such close proximity to each other, and we all have huge subs, and they're, they're soundproof, but they're not perfect, right? The, the bass traps aren't amazing, so we will hear a lot of bass. So ultimately, when everyone's recording, if it's, you know, if it is as busy as we say it's gonna be, people won't actually be able to record anyway. So I think I'm always in favor of just keeping the creative space and just, you know, having a small booth out there. It could be great. It could be really, really good. It just, <laughs> just got to see what happens. So now we're probably a week into building third studio and it is a complete nightmare. Everything's being slow, the builders aren't here, there's some weird problem with the AC. Labels freaking out because there's construction everywhere. I can't even come to work. Like I physically cannot come in the office because my desk is just covered in plastic and there's no like there's no room to do anything. And when there is, you know, people in here doing their job, there's just drilling. So very, very annoying at the moment. But on the other hand, the studio does look very cool. Like it's a really nice big space. So when we went to LA. Uh, we met my friend Lucas, who was managing this bunch of these bunch of artists, and one of them is Swaco. So we organized this trip to Miami. So we flew Lucas and Swaco to Miami. We went up, met them there, gave them a deal, had a great night out. I think he's an amazing artist. If we don't sign him, someone else will, so we have to act really, really quickly um, to get him on our roster. Someone like Swaco that's kind of ingrained himself in popular culture and he, he gets that side of it that, you know, some of our guys, they don't, right? Like, he's, he's got a brand that's very easily marketable. If we can tap into that, let's bring him on board. He's incredibly talented. Let's make something, like, let's support his career, uh, make him blow up and hopefully with that make the label blow up. How long have you been playing guitar, Tio? I've been playing since I was around 11, 12. I'm 18 now, so. <laughs> So basically, I am what they call widow in music because I can listen to something and I can basically do recreate that on the piano. So same chords and stuff, and like like that, and quickly I can do that quickly, and I can play all bunch of instruments basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 